Being fired or laid off is obviously devastating, but experts say losing a job now while working remotely can add a new layer of distress because this will most likely happen over video conferencing. They disabled our ability to speak. Homewood resident Nicole Nordman was among a group of employees of WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers, who was laid off on a Zoom call this spring. At the end of this call, you will no longer be an employee of Weight Watchers. And that was it, and then click. It was a three minute phone call. The I team spoke to Nordman and seven other former WW employees nationwide. How many of you were shocked when you heard this news on Zoom? Very shocked. It was like we did not matter. We weren't human. They say they understand that because of the pandemic, video conferencing may have been the safest option. However, they all describe their layoffs as humiliating, cold, scripted, and quick. We couldn't ask any questions or it was like after this phone call, you're done. And they hung up. Wow, I've just been fired, but you can't talk to me. For two days, I, I cried. I was in shock. For 18 years, this has been my, my job. Nordman says she used WW to lose her weight, then became an employee to help others. She says she expected more of an explanation on the Zoom call from a company which promoted a culture of empathy. I just kept thinking, where's the empathy? Local clinical psychologist Elizabeth Lombardo says some of her patients who work for other companies have had similar experiences. What I'm hearing that's very concerning are these group firings. They're maybe put on mute and they are told their job is no longer. They can't ask questions. They can't process it. It feels very dehumanizing. Lombardo acknowledges video conferencing may be the only choice now, however, says it should still be treated as a delicate process. Sometimes it's a one on one conversation, just like it should be, where it would be in the quote real world, where you sit down, have a one on one conversation, or maybe have an HR person. WW says it offered employees the chance to speak one on one with a manager after the Zoom call. It also notes that the employees were paid for two weeks after they were let go. In a statement, WW saying the conversations were done in the best and most respectful way possible, given the environment. WW not saying how many employees were terminated, only telling me there were several large Zoom groups. The company says when we shut down WW Studios in March, we continued to pay our team members through May, including those not working. As we transitioned to virtual workshops and accelerated our digital transformation, we took the opportunity to reevaluate and downsize our real estate footprint. Unfortunately, that had us make some difficult decisions that directly impacted the lives of some of our valued team members. Lombardo says if you've been laid off, you should embrace the mourning process, acceptance, then forgiveness. It doesn't mean that you want it to happen again. It doesn't mean you deserved it. Forgiveness means you say, I'm going to stop fighting with what already has occurred and I'm going to take steps to move on. And that's really a gift to give to yourself. WW also told the I team that all of the employees were recognized for their years of service and they were all given free lifetime WW memberships. The company also saying it did not make the decision lightly, but it had to do it based on where the business was headed. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.